<clears throat> All right. <clears throat> we'll see how this goes. <clears throat> so, on the table, I got cheesecake. Uh, still trying to go through some of you guys' suggestions on uh, what you want to see me do. And a couple of people asked for cheesecake. And it seemed pretty easy, so I'll show you what I got. All right, so this is just warm water right there. I got two, whoa, two Cheesecake Factory cheesecakes. Uh, this is original cheesecake. Each one is exactly four pounds. So I got eight pounds of cheesecake here. And I think it's a little over 11,000 calories. So yeah, I was gonna have the video like me plating it up and showing up, but it was a pain in the butt. This it doesn't it doesn't really like it's soft. It's like it's really good cheesecake. So it was being a pain, so I didn't do that. So I got it all plated up here, and we're just gonna go through and have some fun. Try to eat this all as fast, eh, pretty much as fast as I can. We'll see how it goes. It smells really good. All right, so yeah, it's about it. Basic challenge here: eight pounds of cheesecake. Um, definitely shooting for a time. Uh, let's see. Mm -hmm. Depending how soft it is, anywhere from five to eight minutes. But we'll see. Maybe surprise myself. Got a timer here. I'll try to put one on the screen. We'll see. And uh, let me just. The problem is when you pick them up, they fall apart, kind of, because they're so soft. But all right. So let me just. This one here, the bottom fell off of. Let me just, it's all messy too. All right, so this will probably be a messy one. Hopefully not. And, all right, I'm ready. In three, two, one, go. Yeah, so I thought I'd just chime in here and tell you a little bit about this challenge. So I decided, I went I went to the uh, store and they I saw these cheesecakes here and I remember there was like two or three or four people asked me to do a cheesecake challenge, so it was kind of expensive, but definitely worth it. This cheesecake was so good. If you ever have a chance, to, if you ever see it at the store, it's the uh, Cheesecake Factory brand frozen cheesecake. Oh my God, it is, it is really, really good. I've never been to the Cheesecake Factory, so I imagine the cheesecake there is even better if it's not frozen, but uh, this, was just, this was good. After buying like Walmart brand cheesecake and trying that, this this is no comparison, way better. So... Yeah, I'm not really going all out here. I'm just kind of trying to get it done. I didn't really know how long this was going to take me. Obviously, my time that I estimated before is going to be way off. But um, kind of like halfway through it, I said, forget it. I'm not going to kill myself. I'm just going to enjoy this. This was kind of fun. So this is about eight pounds of cheesecake. So wasn't really didn't really kill me or tax me or anything. So, um, yeah, maybe I'll uh, add some more of this cheesecake into future challenges because it was, again, it was really good. I keep saying it, I know, but... So, um, yeah, eight pound cheesecake challenge, um, pretty basic, kind of taking a break from the huge challenges here. I got a couple of huge ones coming up though, maybe in a couple of weeks, give myself a little bit of a break after that tuna fish challenge. So <clears throat> that really killed me. All right. So, uh, yeah, just, uh, enjoy and maybe get yourself some cheesecake too. <laughs> Thanks.
Ah. Whew. Oh my God, that was good. Oh, wow. That is really good cheesecake. Cheese, cheesecake Factory original <coughs> cheesecake at home. Oh, excuse me. <clears throat> Frozen. I highly recommend it. It's really good. So I got time of <coughs> three minutes, 50 seconds. It's all right. Um, really wasn't going like all out competition speed there, but <clears throat> it does go down kind of easy, but <coughs> Oh, man, it's good. Might be the best cheesecake I ever had, I think. But, so yeah, that's just three minutes, 50 seconds, eight pounds of cheesecake, over 11,000 calories. Uh, I better go on a diet. <laughs> All right, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe. Thanks. All right, I figured I'll just do a little bit of voiceover on this hot dog run. This is a old hot dog run from, well, actually it was this year. It was not, it just hasn't been recently. I had a bunch of hot dog buns in the freezer. So I went to the supermarket, got some hot dogs, and I figured I'd just give it a practice here. Didn't know what to expect. This is kind of like one of my first runs of the year. Um, so I have 48 hot dogs set up here. And what I have to do is I have to be able to get 48 to 50 hot dogs in between like seven seven minutes 30 seconds to seven minutes 45 seconds so that's my goal I'll tell you right now i was slow at this practice i had a good start but uh, towards the end i wasn't doing very well so uh, let me explain what's going on here so my goal is in the first minute to be right around 10 10 hot dogs and buns in the first minute so let's see if i get that so that is number 10 bun right there. So pretty much I got the bun in and right around in a minute. So 10 in the first minute's good. I'd like to get that up to around 11, maybe 12 in the future. But for now, it's good. I'm happy with the beginning here. I'd like to be able to get 10 in the second minute as well, but um, I have, have not been able to do that yet. Even in, at my best last year, I was, haven't been able to do that. I've been right around eight on the second minute so 18 in two minutes um not sure what i get here it's been a while since i've seen this uh, you see i wear the uh, wristbands there uh that's so that the the waterfall kind of when it drips off my elbows it kind of distracts me so actually pat bertoletti um commented on one of my videos that i should wear wristbands so i went out and got some and i like it it uh stops the juice from dripping off my elbows so coming up on two minutes, you can see I'm not on four plates yet. So uh, right around, I think that's bun number, that's bun probably, so a little under eight hot dogs in the second minute. Not great. Uh, I, I got a lot of work to do. I can see I'm already starting to fall off pace here. Um, not too worried about it, still early. This was nowhere near my best run from last year, even though I didn't do very good at Coney. Um, I can kind of see that the way I'm eating too, I'm probably swallowing a lot of air. And I rem think I remember at the end of this practice, I did have a lot of air inside me. Something else I got to work on, I'm trying to be more efficient with my, with the room I do got. So you see, I'm kind of doing doing things a little bit different. I take the hot dogs and break them in half and kind of like eat, eat four at a time. Um, it's just something I'm trying out. I don't know if it's better. I still got lots of time to practice. Um, I still might go back to the two, eat them like two at a time and then just crunch through. That's the way that most people do it is they eat two at a time and then two buns. I'm still doing the two buns, but I like breaking the hot dogs down to four, especially in the beginning. I might switch it up, maybe not keep my technique all the same. Um, a lot of people comment on the fruit, the fruit punch staining my hands. It washes right off just with soap and water. It's no big deal. So there you see me, I kind of messed up trying to fold them. So yeah, I don't know if it's the best way to do it. Uh, just, just something I'm practicing. 
You can see I also I got rid of those smelly um, Coney cups. I've been using those for the last two years. And I think just enough grease got soaked into the plastic where no matter how many times I washed them, they would kind of get smelly after a couple of days. So I got rid of them. I got these fluff. These actually still smell like fluff too, so they're really good. Yeah, you can definitely see I'm at, let's see, we're at four minutes. So for a hot dog or most competitions, the halfway point is around the three and a half minute mark. I don't know what number I'm at here, but let's see. I'm probably, that's probably around, I can't see. I'm not even sure if that's 30. I'm not sure if that's 25 or 30. Let's see, maybe it's 25. Yeah, so um, is it might have been around 30, between 25 and 30 for sure. I should have kept more tr careful track. Anyways, the three and a half minute mark is uh, where I wanna be around 30. If I ever wanna hit 60 at three and a half minutes, I gotta be above 30. So I'll tell you right now, I never hit 60. I'm not gonna say how close I've ever gotten but um, I've never hit actually 60 in 10 minutes. I've eaten 60 hot dogs before, just not in 10 minutes. So hopefully this will be the year. Just to give you a little bit of um, insight into how much these things weigh, 10 hot dogs weigh exactly a kilogram. So six hot dogs would be six kilograms. So that would be what, like a little over 13 pounds, not including the liquids, but I never like to include the liquids in any of the poundages. So it's about 13 pounds of food, maybe a little bit more, a little less, depending on how they cook the hot dogs and how the buns are that day, but it's, it's a decent amount. So I'm still trying to force down the hot dogs four at a time. Um, you can definitely see that I'm slowing down. I'm drinking water there. I took a sip, that is, that's a definite sign that I'm struggling. This is not a great practice. If I ever pick up a cup to drink, um, while I'm still dunking the buns, that's a definite sign that I'm not having a good day. Why I'm not having a good day, I'm not sure. I don't remember what I did before this or what time of day this was. Yep, so I'm starting to chipmunk too. So that's a, another bad sign with hot dogs. Other foods, no big deal for me to chipmunk, but as soon as I start with doing hot dogs, I, it's like putting the brakes on. Oh, I'm taking another drinking again. Yeah, so. I'm trying to push that bun in and it's not going in. So I know I'm having trouble. Hopefully this washes it down. Ugh, oh, I'm eating so slow now. It's hard to watch. Yep, keep packing it in there and not swallowing. That's not a good day. So ideally I like to try to keep um, keep my mouth clear um, with hot dogs. The other stuff like pizza, I really don't care. I can chip my all I want and I still tend to be able to get it down. Looked like I was gonna reach for the cup there and decided not to. <clears throat> so coming up a seven minute mark, I should have at most one plate left. It looks like I have two plates left. Not good, I'm eating so slow here. Yeah, I'm not even swallowing. I'm just packing it in my mouth without even swallowing. Bad practice. Hopefully everybody thinks this is my uh, my best I can do here. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, just bad day. But it's been like a minute and I've only swallowed, I only ate like two hot dogs, so bad. So I got four on this last plate. Uh, so hard to watch this. Anyways, I got serious work to do. Um, what I'm gonna keep doing is, I'm not gonna post all of them, but um, as soon as it warms up a little bit, maybe end of March, beginning of April, I'll start doing hot dog runs again. And I'll probably do these 48 hot dogs again, 48 and, or 50. And I'll, until I can get that time down to uh, under, uh, under 7.45, see, uh, this is I'm already over. If I get that, can't get that number under 7.45, there's no reason to even try to cook up more or eat more. It's just never gonna happen. I'm never gonna hit 60 if I'm not at 50 um, below eight minutes. There's, there's just not enough time. I'm not gonna eat faster than five hot dogs a minute towards the uh, last two minutes. So I got one more. See, I switched now. I'm eating the hot dogs um, whole. And actually I found when I'm struggling, this helps me speed up a little bit. I check some tape, 
and my hot dogs per minute actually goes up if I switch to this technique. Don't know why, and I know it's not faster. If I would do this in the beginning, my first, my first minute, I would be slower, but towards the end, it tends to help me, and that's it right there. All right, so you can hopefully, yeah, freeze frame, look at my big stomach. Um, hopefully this gives you a little insight about what I'm thinking when I'm doing these hot dog practices and I do watch the video. Uh, got a lot of work to do. Hopefully maybe some of you guys have some suggestions you can give me down below on what I could do to maybe try something new. I don't know. There's not a whole lot of new stuff that hasn't been tried yet though. So I think it's just a matter of practicing, getting more, more endurance and uh, yeah, sticking with it. So, all right. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Till next time.